If you're looking into installing mods on your Mac in 2020 2019, then this video should help you out. It'll answer most of your questions. And well, anyways, let's get started. So let's get started with the tutorial. I quickly want to thank all of you who uh, got the mod video to be the most popular video on my channel. And a lot of people had a lot of good experience with it. So I quickly want to thank you for that. But however, a lot of people did have a lot of questions that I didn't go over. And it is a bit outdated, so that's why I'm making this kind of update tutorial. But uh, hopefully, all of you guys will get your questions answered. And if you're not, I'll try my best to answer your questions in the comments. Anyways, so first what you want to do is you want to go onto a web browser, it can be anyone. And what you're going to do is you're going to grab a mod that you want. So for me, I'm going to be doing inventory pets. I'll link it in the description as well so that you guys can follow along exactly. Another thing that I quickly want to tell you guys is make sure the mod is 1.12.2 or under if it's like 1.13 or like 1.14.3, then it will not work for some reason. I don't know how to fix it currently. I might make a video on how to do that, but for now I don't know how to do it. So make sure the mod is 1.12.2 or under. And what you're going to do is with some mods, they'll have a download button at the top. But for this one, I'm just going to scroll down and you'll see we have 1.12.2 right there. So you can press the download and press download again. Sometimes it doesn't take this long. Sometimes it's just one download button, but for this, it has to go through two. Uh, with some, they, you have to scroll down to find the mod files, but it should be very straightforward. So you're going to put your thing onto your desktop. Uh, make sure that it is a .jar file. A .zip file won't work with Forge. I might, if, I might eventually learn how to do it and I might make a tutorial on it, but for now, I don't know how to do it. So make sure it ends in .jar. So if it ends in .zip, it won't work. Uh, with the method we're going to use anyways. So now that you're done, you can completely close out of Chrome. And something that some people had a trouble had trouble with with, uh, with was a JDK. So basically a Java development kit. I don't know much about it, but I will link a video on how to install it. A lot of people had had success with that video. It was actually a pinned comment in the last video. So, but I will link the video in the description. It's not my own, but I think this one's better than I could ever explain it because I don't even come across this problem. So you'll have to, some, some people have to download a JDK to continue. However, uh, that's just an extra strap that some people have to go through. Anyway, so now that you're done with that, you're going to go into Safari, a different uh, browser than Chrome. Unless you were using Safari them from before, then you can keep doing it. Uh, with Chrome, they would block the installment of Forge, so you can do it with anything. So you're going to go on to, I'll link everything in the description, by the way. You're going to go on to files.minecraftforge.net. You're going to go on to the version that you have, uh, the mod, which is 1.12.2. It'll show you Windows installer, you don't need that one, so just press installer. Uh, again, or unless it's the first time saying it, but make sure uh, it has a lot of updates, don't press any of that. Make sure that the mod you're installing, or the multiple mods that you're installing in some people's cases, is all the same version, so for example, all of them have to be 1.12.2. Make sure that the Forge is 1.12.2, make sure the game version is 1.12.2 for it to work. Anyways, so now that that has done, you'll see a skip button, you can press that, it'll start downloading at the top. Can just drag that onto your desktop and it, a dot jar i don't think anyone has had any problem with that so we can just press x uh, now they have both of these what you want to do is you want to activate forge so you're going to press your double clip it cl sorry you're going to double click it and it says that it can't be opened you go into system uh, sorry system preferences i don't know how to speak today uh go into security and privacy and it'll show up here. So what you're going to do is you're going to press open anyway. Sometimes you might have to put in your password, but for me, it doesn't have to. Uh, you can press X on that. Now you're going to double click it and it'll say here. So it says, a welcome to the simple Forge installer. Uh, it should already be on install client. You're going to press OK. Some people might not have it work, so it's successfully done it. So but if it doesn't work, it might mean that you have to play the version that you're installing it for. So if you have, if you're installing a mod that's 1.8, and your forge is 1.8, but you've never actually played like vanilla 1.8. Make sure you go ahead and play that first before you install forge and activate it. Uh, it didn't show up for me because I already played 1.0.2 a lot, but for you it might show up. So just letting you know that. So once that's been activated, I guess you want to go into your Minecraft launcher and you want to go into installations. If you have anything like turn them off for now, I press new. I'm going to put 1.12.2 since I already have a bunch of 1.12.2s. Scroll down and you'll see your forge at the bottom. So here you have it uh, released 1.12.2 forge. 
so that's the one that you're gonna press you don't need to worry about anything else you can press create um, actually what I am gonna do is I'm gonna change the logo so that I can easily find it so you're gonna go into play and you're not gonna play it yet I lied so just put that down what you want to do is you're going to go shift command G and have this exact code. Do not do anything different. Have all the uppercases, all the slashes, everything. Uh, have that and then press go. And it'll take you to the mods folder. And you can see I already have a bunch of stuff here. What you're going to do is you're going to take your mod. So for me it's the, not for, sorry, inventory pets. And you're going to drag that in there. Press move. Uh, if it shows you the whole iCloud thing gonna press X now you're gonna go onto your minecraft launcher you're gonna select the one that you have so for me it's 1.2.2 tutorial however it might just be 1.12.2 for you or 1.8 or whatever version you're using and you're gonna press pray all right so once you are into your minecraft java edition sorry hit my mic uh, what you're gonna see is a mods tab and you could press I have a bunch of mods on here but you can but to make sure that yours is on you can just press inventory pets or whatever mod you're installing and here it is uh, it's right there so some mods do require that you install other mods for it to work. So for example, with replay mod, I had to install a different mod, f another mod f to work with it. However, it's just the same process. You're just installing another one to make that one work. So that's why I might get crashes. Uh, again, I can't stress it enough. Make sure that all of the versions are the same. Anyway, so now if we go into single player, uh, create new world. I'm just going to call this this part doesn't matter i'm sure you know how to do this part all right so i'm pretty sure you guys all know that the mod probably works by now but i quickly want to bring to your guys attention a new kickstarter campaign for a game called type zero uh type zero partnered with me a while back and i quickly want to bring uh bring the kickstarter guy to, to you guys because i think it's a really cool game i have a whole video talking about it if you want to check it out but basically there's like magical dice involved there's making decisions uh there's making your old like campaigns so much other stuff that i can't cram into the small section but i think you guys should go check out their kickstarter which i'll leave in the description and the i card and anyways that about wraps up the video if you guys enjoyed it please let me know by leaving a like on the video and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye